Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Edna J. White, and I'm so glad to be here. And you are on Wounded to Wonderful talk radio show. I'm getting already fumbled already. You see me doing this, right? So I have an exciting guest, I guess, because we talked about her name. I always want to get everyone's name correctly because, you know, you don't want to say anyone's name wrong. But you're at the destination to hear everything real, everything ready about just being empowered in life. So today's guest on Keeping It Real, I'd like to introduce Linda I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it wrong. So here I go. Linda, don't, don't say anything, Linda. Linda Primer Cadu. Yeah? Exact, exact. Yeah, I'm so excited. It doesn't take much for me to be excited. <laughs> but tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started with today's topic. Well, hi, Edna. Hi, everyone. I am delighted to be here today. Um, I am uh, a coach. Um, trainer, speaker with the John Maxwell Foundation. Okay. Um, I have started my own business about a year ago called Rise Up. Uh, my goal is definitely to inspire, encourage, and support other people uh, in their walk, in their journey to find um, a positive mindset, to shift their perspective, and to help create uh, positive growth in their life so that they can move forward. There's always a, a, a spot in life where you feel like you're stuck sometimes, or you feel like, oh, my life has passed me by. I'm too old to do this, or I don't like my job. Well, that's where I come in because I shift energy from a negative to a positive, And I help you change your perspective by seeing things differently and then open doors for you to grow personally and when you do that the rest of the world changes with you absolutely and that just brings us you did that really well because that just brings us to today's topic is what does personal development look like now? and you being a coach and I being a coach I think this is going to be fantastic and uh, we want to address the, the issues with during COVID now I want to say that the de definition of personal development is the ongoing assessing of your life's goals and values and building your, your skills and your qualities to reach your highest potential. So if we keep that in mind as we are talking or discussing this, let's talk about how COVID has, you know, um, impacted personal development. What, what have you seen, Linda, as being a coach? What have you seen with your clients? Well, I see a lot more focus on um, personal well-being, uh, mental health, right. and um, trying to shift into another gear, trying to refocus into something that was unplanned, unexpected, and a little bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I see a lot more people being a lot more cognitive of um, how they're feeling, right. their, their emotional well-being, their, their physical well-being, for sure. Right. They're spending a lot more time at home. Um, I see a lot of people um, putting a lot more effort into personal growth. I think they see uh, a lot more places they need to change. When you're so busy and you work all the time and you're working outside the home, you have family, um, you get caught up in that world and you say, oh, I don't have time to exercise. Oh, I don't have time to eat right. And oh, I don't have time to this and this and this right. and this. I, I would love to have time to read a book. Now they have more time. And now I see where people are starting to use that time. First, it was a big vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's taking time off and yeah. you know, just doing nothing. Pajama right. day for a week. But now I see people are starting to um, move into wanting to do more webinars, wanting to read more books, wanting right. to watch more videos on, on feeling better, right. learning new things. Right. I see a lot of, um, with my clients, I see a lot of creativity. I never let them say to me, I don't have time because everybody has time for what they want to have time for. It's just your, um, I guess your, not your responsibility, but what you think 
is important. So you know, you'll have time for those things. You know, okay, if, if I'm my perspective is I, I have time to, you know, I'm only focused on my job and, and my success. I know that if I do this job great here today, I'm gonna have great success and everybody's gonna notice me and forget it. There's like start, they started right away. They I mean, as soon as they get out of the bed, sometimes they get up with the phone. They, they you know, they don't even take time to like, let's take like 10 cleansing breaths, you know. Let's drink a glass of water. No, got to get right on the ground running. And yeah, I think yeah. personal development during COVID has slowed that down for them to wake up and say, wow, I was wasting a whole lot of time doing things that were not important. And I see a lot of creativity. You know how we, we as children, we keep, we have, we're creative. We'll take a crayon and make it, if we had one crayon, we would create something with it. You know, we, you know, make something, we do something with one thing. As adults, we get so bogged down and, and of, the, of the thoughts that people tell us that we have responsibilities, we can't, we can't be creative as an adult, no way. That's um, right, the, the things that you believe, <laughs> are they the things that you believe or the things that you were told to believe? Yes, and so that is what I'm saying is that truth that you said is what now people are realizing that's not what I believe at all it's because they've I'm they've always. had all of this time for self-awareness yes to sit and think because um I'll use my own example I lost my job in April totally mm -hmm. out of the blue like right. one day I'm on a sales meeting call uh -huh. and everything's fine and the next day you don't have a job right and it took me a while to actually grasp the fact I'm not getting up to go to work tomorrow morning. Yeah. And once I got more aware of what that meant for me, I realized, hmm, I'm not sure I want to do that anyway. Right. Do I want to go back to a nine to five yeah. job? I'm not sure I want to. So yeah. because of that, I opened up my world and went, well, now I have a lot more time to dig into what I really love to do. Right. Yeah. And people are seeing that. And I think that when the call to come back to work, a lot of people were like, eh, not sure. Not. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of them. I was like, oh, I'm in and out. It's like, yeah, it's that, it's that what you, you just said. It's just that, that I was able to open my world, you know, and your world is like looking in a mirror. And I know as a personal coach yourself, I know that you always think, you, you, you think about like, you know, when you are teaching something, you want to make sure you're doing it. So we're like the mirror, like they're the mirrors of what we're, we are. So um, when you are saying something or you're teaching something, it, they have to look in the mirror for themselves. You know, you can only say it, you can only tell them or explain to them this, maybe this is what it's supposed to look like or what you think it should look like. They really have to build on those things themselves. They have to like look in the mirror and say, hey, what is my world? Yeah, what know? do I want my world to be? Yeah, what, what, it, is, what is, like? yeah, what I want it to look like. Is, is this what I'm happy with? Is this what mm -hmm. I'm satisfied with? Or is there something else? Right. And, the, the pandemic itself created a lot of negativity right. and a lot of people saw nothing but bad. Yeah. But when you really stop and break it down, the pandemic brought a lot of very, very good things. People, it did. people really, really realized what, what they had to offer and Absolutely. how flexible they could be and how much they actually really knew in their, in their head and how much mm -hmm. they had to, to, put out there to the world and say, hey, you know what? I actually know how to do this. Right. They became experts in things they didn't even know that they knew how to do. Absolutely. And and I, I see that as being personal development. Like they they really um they really uh stepped up their game mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. For the most part, I I saw that. I saw people pivoting in in businesses mm -hmm. um that blew my mind really blew yeah. my mind you know that they they totally went 180 and said ah oh, this is not this gonna is kill yeah. us this is not gonna crush yeah. us we we will rise from this we'll find a new way and mm -hmm. and they did and okay. that kind of creativity yeah. uh 
that that just that got sparked mm -hmm. from the COVID. Right. Um, you know, my grandmother used to say, um, necessity is the mother of all invention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, that proved to be true when people were complacent to do things this way, because we've always done it this way, mm -hmm. then the pandemic hit, they had, they had no choice but to tap into that creativity. They, it's a do or die situation yeah. now. Right. And uh, they, most of them, they rose to the occasion. occasion. I was impressed. Right. Absolutely. So, yeah. And I think the second part of this is relationships were changed. The relationship values, um, not only you as one person were developed or uh, found creativity, we have a whole household of people. Now everyone's like, the children are finding development, personal development, they're finding what they can do. And you're actually make, creating a, a stronger relationship. Let's talk about the relationship part of being of the personal development because, you know, personal development, it sounds like it's just one way, but it really isn't. It's like- Oh no. Oh, it's all over. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's actually, um part three parts yeah your your spiritual your physic physical and your mental mm -hmm. it's all a part of your personal development you can't right. just if you just develop yourself physically right and not your your mind right then you shortchanging yourself you know you're right. just going to be muscly that's it <laughs> <laughs> you know you, you, your brain is just going to be shriveled up and you're yes. gonna so it, it's all of those things and in that relationship aspect, mm -hmm. um, I, I saw people, um, children especially, mm -hmm. adapt to uh, a new understanding of what it meant mm -hmm. to have a hug, what it right. meant to have interactions with right. other people. Yes. By, by taking it away, it right. became important. It became right. um, a part that you never realized was actually feeding you. Right, exactly. And people became more compassionate. They became more kind, more understanding. Um, they, they, they were giving more grace. Of course. Of course. Than, than prior to. We were all too busy to give anybody grace. Oh, yeah. No. We had a high expectation. Yeah. <laughs> you know. From them, not on us. <laughs> do, 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 you know, yes. cracking the whip and all that yeah. stuff. Now it's like, you know what? let it slide not yeah. that important anymore right. pick it's your it. battles I, I watched parents go you know what let's just let that one go this time yeah right you know this it's not that important so right. he stays up an extra half an hour right. what's the what's the big deal now right. Right. whereas before it was always on task because you have a schedule and you're right. going to follow it through and everybody's got to be on time and right yeah i i think uh the, the whole thing <laughs> kind of I, I saw it like go go Ooh. Yeah, like everybody the, took a big little, breath. Right, breathed. Yeah, like the yeah. took a big breath and said, "Okay, what's important? What needs to be done?" You know, and a reevaluation, like you said, reevaluation, pivoting. Um, you know, just just thinking of new ideas, like integrating new things. I think that we saw that, we, and we still are seeing it. You know, and not we're not talking like everything is great because there has been a rise on other things like you know, yeah. violence and, you know, um, because those are emotional things and being with somebody in closed quarters, you're going to learn a whole lot, <laughs> even yourself, just learning about yourself, you know, you're going to, you're going to learn regardless. You're not, not learn. I mean, you would have to be sleep all the time not watch anything and you would have to go into a deep, like a cocoon or something in order not to learn something about yourself. Yeah, absolutely. You'd have to. So yes, you find out you did this on the, on the bad side, you find out that, you know, your emotional wreck, you know, and, and being inside with that person, it's not the person, it's you, it's really, you know, you, you just like, you know, you're a little crazy. And I know you talked about energy and emotions is nothing but energy going nuts inside your body. Like you, if you don't know how to focus it and bring it out, all it does is ping, 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 ping inside your body and 
pretty soon your body's doing crazy things <laughs> that you don't want it to do. That's true. That's doing true. Things that you don't want, you don't, you're saying things you don't want it to say because you're not, the energy's not focused. That's so, right. So I could see what, what you're talking about, about that. Let's talk about the energy of personal development since we're on that side, the energy of personal development. How do we get there now that we, we know that all, you know, some of these things are happening during COVID and it's important to know that. Um, so there might be some listeners today that don't know where to, this, where to do, what to do with this energy. They're still feeling the same way. They feel, feel feeling some kind of, you know, type of downtroddenness and where do they begin to kind of develop personally? Where do they start? Uh, my, my suggestion would be to, um, for me personally, is what I would do is mm -hmm. I would confront my biggest fears first. Right. What, okay. what, what is it that is causing me to have this pent up energy or mm -hmm. the stress or the anxiety? Mm -hmm. um, face it front on um, and acknowledge your emotions, acknowledge your feelings. Right. Uh, give yourself the grace to say, I'm feeling this way. Maybe I don't know why, but it's okay to feel this way for now. As mm -hmm. long as I don't sit here, pitch a tent and live here forever. <laughs> right. right? right. It's, it, but to, to actually acknowledge that you feel them. And, right. and same for other people. You have to acknowledge that they're, they, 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 are, they have legitimate feelings they're having emotions that they never experienced before because we've never done this before. Mm -hmm. It's all new to everybody. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, stop and take a deep breath. Acknowledge right. exactly what you're feeling. Um, I like to write stuff down. I'm yeah. a writer. I write down what I feel. When mm -hmm. I read it, I'm either very, very uh, shocked <laughs> that wow, I didn't even know I felt that. I just wrote words, but I feel those things. Yeah. Then you can look at it and then you can acknowledge that you feel them. I think once yeah. you acknowledge your feelings and your mm -hmm. fears and you face them, then I think you can take that deep breath and go, okay, now where do I go from here and take that right. next step? And right. once you realize that what you need to work on, where it is, you'll see right. it in your list. Then you take the step to say, okay, I should probably read a, a, a book on this, yeah. whether that's focus or whether it's getting a, a good schedule so that you're mm -hmm. not up all night and in bed all day. Because right. when you, when you turn your, your life upside down, um, you get out of focus, you get out of sync. Right. And I, I wit, I witnessed that in myself, uh, not knowing the days of the week <laughs> Yeah. because I work from Monday to Friday you, you, you know, you, you, you looked for Friday. That's what your goal was to get right. to Friday. It's a Friday. And you, had, yeah. you had a schedule. You get up at this time. You did this, 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 you went to work. You did this, 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 you came home. You did this, this, this. Yeah. And when that's taken away from you, right. Then you're getting up whenever mm -hmm. you're, you're not getting dressed. You're not doing mm -hmm. hair. You're not doing makeup. Right. All of those things will, will give you inside problems. Right. Right. The energy that you were putting into doing those things shifts inside and then you're right. all jittery and you're all like, I don't know what to do with myself. Right. And, and I think that that helps if you, you put yourself back on a, on a good schedule where schedule, you have, yeah. you have an agenda, you say, I'm going to accomplish this, this, and this today. Even if it's just, you know, have mm -hmm. breakfast, I'm going to make cookies and I'm going to put a pot roast in. If right. you say I'm going to do those three things and you do them, mm -hmm. congratulations, pat yourself on the back. You just right. successfully completed your, your task for today and you'll feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Step-by-step. Step. Uh, absolutely. Really, really, really matter. I think uh, we put too much emphasis on the bigger step. The, you know, the large step. Oh, like we see that big goal over there. Do you know it takes tiny steps to get there? Like you have to do certain things you have to do to get there. And you're looking at, oh, I got it. I have to do this, you know, and it's a big goal and you have to break. Edna, how to eat an elephant. <laughs> One bite at a time. One bite at a time. And that's exactly how you that's get great. to that big yes. goal. 
you break it down, you do it a little bit at a time That's and great. every day mm -hmm. you'll feel that much better yeah. and you'll see you're accomplishing things. Mm -hmm. You're developing. You are actually doing personal development. Right. How and to eat an elephant. One bite, one bite at, at a time. time. That's yeah. great. It, it's that's the way you do it yeah it's absolutely the way you do it so let's um how do you as a life coach how do you incorporate a lot of what you just told us how how do you incorporate that and uh in in the steps you take during life a life coach session for me i i focus on questions gotcha. very good questions questions that um would would get my client to um, find the answers themselves. Okay. I, I, I'm not your dictionary, <laughs> not your encyclopedia. This I'm your coach. <laughs> yeah. So I ask the questions. Right. You know, what, what do you want to do? Right. And if they don't know what they want to do, and I, then I go back and I say, okay, if you knew you couldn't fail, right. what would you attempt to do? Right there's your true passion. If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you try to do? Mm -hmm. And if they say, oh, I want to do this, this, this. And I say, okay, what if I told you that you can only do three of these things? What three mm -hmm. things would you let go? And right. if they were, oh, I don't know. And okay, I'm taking this away. How do you feel about that? Right. Because yeah. how you feel about losing something tells you how much it means to you. Right. So for me, it's all about the questions asking the questions where they answer from their heart. Mm -hmm. They answer from what they feel. Mm -hmm. And then they go, oh, I didn't yeah. realize I felt that way. Mm -hmm. Or I didn't even know I could make that step. I didn't even know I wanted to make that step. But it's asking the questions. Right. Um, then you direct them. OK, so you want to do this. What are the steps that you think you need to take to make that happen for you? And then uh, some homework. Um, I always suggest that, you know, here, here's, here's three things that I'd like for you to do toward that goal mm -hmm. for the next time we meet. So it, it's all about the questions. And if you don't have a coach, uh, I would suggest you get one, first of all. But if you're yes. going to do this on your own, ask yourself the important questions. Mm -hmm. What do I love to do? Right. What do I really hate doing? Right. What, like if I knew I had to be stuck doing one thing for the rest of my life, would it be, <laughs> what, would it be what I'm doing now? <laughs> you know, I think like, and I had said that to myself in my job one time, yeah. if I have to do this job for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. I am going to be miserable. And right. if that's how you feel about your job, it's not the right job. It's not, it's a time waster. And I think, um, I wanted to go back to, um, it's an ongoing assessment. It's not something um, like you just said, you were working at your job, then April came and there was no job. Like, so it's ongoing. It's, you know, personal development is ongoing and it's assessing as you're ongoing. And that is so important to remember. It is definitely a, um... It, it's it's constant growth right as exactly. long as there's change in the world which there always will always be, will be right you will be required to constantly grow to adjust your sails to the wind that blows right you know you're not always going to go in one direction you're going to no. have to be flexible and you're going to have to recognize those things when they come yes. to you like when 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 I lost my job, I needed to recognize it as being an opportunity, right. not a devastation. Right, right. Right. You you have to see the 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 things in a different perspective. Right. And right. you know, shifting your perspective is is not always easy to do. No. Sometimes it not no. You're right. Having having a coach definitely helps. And you know that. I mean, um, I have been basically coaching my mom um, for almost two years now when we lost uh, my dad and mm -hmm. she went through a really rough patch. And I mean, after over 50 years of marriage, she knew nothing else, but to be with him, life changed suddenly. Mm -hmm. right. And she needed to learn how to adapt. And it wasn't, it didn't come natural to her and it yeah. don't come natural to everybody. No. But in the process of talking things through and asking questions and, 
and her getting to ask questions and her getting to say how she really felt. Right. And it helped her adjust her direction and say, I, I still have a purpose. Right. After all of this time, my purpose was my family and now I'm alone. I still have a purpose. It's just yeah. a matter of finding where that is. Right. So you have to be willing to move right. with the tide and with the winds that blow yeah, for sure. Right. And, and find the, find the positive where there is a negative. There's none, right. And the final portion I'm to, I'm going to talk about, I would love to talk about is the business part, your personal development in your career, your personal development as a person affects your career, affects your, if you're going into business. Let's talk about that developing part that I know that it's so important to have because no matter what business you pick, let's just say it's, um, I want to sell products of some sort. Um, I'll, I'll pick something, uh, maybe vitamins. It's really good oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> pick vitamins, okay? And um, if my attitude, if my mindset, if my, um, my personal life here is not conducive to what these vitamins say, or if I've never tried the vitamins and my thought was, I, I want to work, I want to do this because I can make money. I see the money potential in it. Everyone sees, it. listen, money is, that's the, the world goes. But when you see something um, and you're getting involved, your personal de development starts in your mind, as you said. Mind, it's mind work. And if your intention is wrong when you're working your career, in your business or you're being an entrepreneur or um, anything, anything that has to do with progressing and touching other people's lives. That has to be right. The personal, that personal part has to be right. Let's talk about, because nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about we have to line up here and here. That's true. To sell a product, to do a service. We can't be the opposite of what, if I'm looking at you and you, you are, you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing, right? If I'm looking at you, I'm going to say, what is she doing? I, I want to I wanna do what she's doing. I want to have what she's having. I, I, wanna, I want that pill. I want that vitamin that she's selling because it looks, it looks good on her. Yeah. But if you're the opposite of that, there needs to be some new, new evaluations, like you said. There's, there's, there's no, you need to address that. So let's talk about the, that part of the negative part, not being part of personal development you, and you need to have this up here well i don't think that um a lot of people realize how important it is you don't actually ever sell a product the nope. product you you're, you sell you right okay so the first thing that people buy is you right uh, they they buy trust in you right and if you are not in the right frame of mind and you don't present as being um I don't want to say an authority or an right. expert, but has been um, a servant. Right. Right. Because people want to know you care. What's the saying? People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Yeah. Right. And they buy that. They buy you. They buy your personality. They, they buy your, your vibe. Right. That's what they buy. And right. because you present well and you say, you know, I'm using this. It, right. it, it, and it shows. You can talk it. You can say it. It shows. People that sell hair products. If, if, if somebody tries to sell you a hair product and they have terrible hair, right. you're not buying their hair you're product because buy it, no. they're the first thing that you see. You buy the image. Right. And right. it's important. So... If you're going to be in business, mm -hmm. you need to be in business for people. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to serve people mm -hmm. because that's where the loyalty comes from. Right. They buy you. Right. They, they don't buy your business. They buy you. They like you. They come right. back because they like you because right. you are presenting as a whole person. You have your your mind is is solid your body is solid you you, you know what you're doing 
You know, right. you look put together. You know what you're doing. Right. And, and we're not saying everything's that. perfect either. We're not saying that. No, 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 no. But but you, you know, you you. <laughs> I think it's um. It's your self awareness. It's, right. it's how you feel yeah. in you exactly. because what you put out there is what comes back to you. Exactly. Exactly. So if you're feeling positive and you're feeling confident and you put that out there, mm -hmm. that's what people want. Right. Exactly. And yeah, that I think that your, 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 your mind needs right. to be in the right place to believe right. that it's not about the money, even if it is. Yeah. You, you switch your focus to it being right. more about the people. Right. And I think to add to your, um, what you've said, I think it's important that we serve ourselves first. A lot of us try to solve everybody else's problem. I was one of them. <sighs> I was one of them. I try to solve everyone else's problems to solve my own. And, you know, there's a saying that said, go back to your first love. Your first love is you. Because I remember distinctly when I was, as a child, I wasn't afraid of anything, not one thing. I would jump in a tree and there'd be nothing under me and I swear I'm gonna land on my feet. And I did, because I didn't break any bones back then. But you know, it, we loved ourselves, we trusted in ourselves. And we have to go back to that. We have to go back to that, take care of ourselves first and then that will radiate to other people because they'll say, oh, everything is not, is not peaches and cream around them. But tell you what, they are working on it. Yeah. They are doing what they need to do. So just the fact of taking care of yourself, loving yourself first, then helping everyone else afterward. Um, and I, I hear a lot of, and a lot of people say, I said, you know, I ask the question, what is it that you would like to do? What is it that you're searching for? What do you think your purpose is? serve people. I said, you know how many people want to serve people? <laughs> Here to serve people. We're, we can't do without one another, whether you no, know it or can't. not. So I said, that's a broad, that's a, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. What is it that you really want to do? You know, how can you serve people with your skills? What do you have that you can give to somebody? And when you ask somebody that later on in life, they'd be like, whew, that's pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. What? And 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 then you you get the, the the puzzle look and I said you can create your own life you know that right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? what yeah, yeah. It is so your life. It is your life, and that's the point. Is it is your life? Coaching gets you to say, gets you to the thought. Wait a minute. That is, it is my life, so I have control. You start thinking. Wait, I have control of my own life. Yeah, I, I, I have the potential to do this, this, and this, you know, so coaching, life coaching of any type will open that up for you. Like it will, it would, it would, you would start having like pops of, um, you know, aha moments all over the place. Yeah. Light bulbs going off everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Like this and everything's so bright. So what did I say all that for? I don't know, but we so good. <laughs> I don't know, but it's empowering. I will say that we have empowered you. But um, I wanted to say, if you don't have anything else to say, I, I need to mention somebody. So if you don't have anything to say, Wendy, do you have anything? Oh, go ahead. Okay, so I, it was my birthday just recently. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, a, a, a beautiful friend of mine, I met her at a networking event and right away kind of hit it off. Her name is Melinda, by the way, which is a derivative of both me and your name. Um, and she um, does like uh, business cards, no, reading cards to kind of okay. back together. So um, she sent me this today and I was like, what did she send me? So she sent me Melinda Epstein. I just want to say thank you. She sent me a little, little card today and a little thingy with solar power. Oh, that's so head. cute. <laughs> so it says, sorry, traffic was slow. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> so happy to get this. So I just wanted to men mention Melinda today um, because she's always thinking about me. And I think, thank God for <laughs> beautiful friends. And Absolutely. And I tell you, <laughs> you will not get far in this life without the support of a good inner circle. You that will. is 
absolutely fact number one. If All you right. want to go fast, go by yourself. But if you right. want to go far, you go Woo! with a friend. That's good. I, I am one hundred. Write that down. I am one hundred percent behind that statement. Uh, yeah. I believe in supporting others to get where they want to go. What mm -hmm. I can do, uh, I, I am. Um, my my career was administration, project okay. administration, coordination. So I have a lot of administrative skills. If mm -hmm. somebody said to me, ah, oh, could you do up a document for me like this for my business? I'm there. Right. I got your back. Right. If I can do it right. and you ask, I'm doing it for you. Not right. because I want anything from you, but mm -hmm. because you succeeding makes me feel good. I am glad to help you succeed. Yes. And so that's, that's important, important thing to remember yes. in business and in personal development. If you want people to be there for you, you need to be there for them. Yes, please. That is so that that we forget that part because um, we feel we are like we're on our own ladder. And yeah. we're actually not. We're actually sharing the same stinking ladder. It's so funny because we all have to go up the same steps and come down. And say, if we do something wrong, we're going to slide down. But it's important to remember that you are not, you, you can't do this alone. And I like your statement. I want to write it down because I'm adding that. If you want to <laughs> go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go with a friend. Go with a friend. Um, right. Yeah, very, very strong, strong supporter of that statement and I live it every day in my life. Yeah, me too. Uh, and whether that's your family, mm -hmm. whether that's your friends, whether that's your business, people in business that you know, business um, connections that you know, right. um, that that's that's where it's at. That's where that's where you're going to see the most most personal development is yes. when you help develop others. Right. And I think I, I I've I have had the most um, I guess success by doing that, lifting other people up, yeah. lifting and motivating other people, um, especially during this time, just lifting, and motivating people, and not thinking, okay, I got to get a dollar out of this, I got, I got to, got to get money out of this, I got to get this, and every time that I've done that, things have come back to me absolutely without me having to worry and. I appreciate that you know a lot the, the the people that i that come into my life i appreciate them and i tell them i'm one yep. of those you can't shut me up like oh, i love you you know peace love and happiness you know i'll, I'll say it and amen i agree with that i appreciate people because you may not see them you know again i remember i was in the hospital one time and i there was this beautiful couple older couple they, they had to be in 70 or 80. And she was beautiful. She was walking and she had this beautiful um, um, salt and pepper hair. And he was like, she was holding her husband's arm. She was a little short woman. And he was tall and he, and he was like holding her, making sure. And he had his hand, she had his hand here, but he had his other hand on top of her hand holding it. And I looked at her, she had these beautiful blue eyes. I, that's how bad I was looking. I was like looking deeply. At her. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, she has these beautiful eyes. And I'm looking at her. And she gave me a smile and I said, you look amazing, you know? And she was like, thank you. I was like, no, you really do. I might not be able to say it again, you know, cause I won't be able to see you. But when you, it's like, that's the energy you want to give out to, you want that back, you know? You want Absolutely. And if you don't do that, you know, I, it bothers me when people walk by each other and, not, and connect and then don't say anything to each other. That's such a waste of energy. It's Isn't such, it? so bad it's so yeah. bad but never like, never miss an opportunity yes to tell someone that they look great yes that you appreciate them you love right. them you right. care about them and that you you want the best for them right you never know when you're not going to have that opportunity right right especially people in your life we exactly. have this um we have this little thing um I, I have two adult children mm -hmm. and we never, never end a conversation without saying, I love you. Me too. 
always, <laughs> because I want that to be, if I never speak to you again, I want that to be the last thing that you heard me say. Right. right. Yeah. And uh, people yep. think we're a little bit strange, but no, it's the, you know? the right thing to do. I, I, my son, I remember arguing with my son about something and he was arguing with me and, and I told him how I felt. And then he said, no, mom, I'm just trying to tell you, explain to you, blah, blah, blah. This is how I felt. And I said, well, I explained it to you. So, and I said, well, I'm, you know, sorry you feel that way. And, but I wouldn't change what I did. And so he says, okay, mom, all right. And he said, okay, um, I'll talk to you later. I love you. Yep. And each other. And I said, well, I love you too. And, yep. I, and then that keeps things because I don't want if they, God forbid, if something happened, that would be the last thing, you know, me, me, we're arguing and he doesn't hear, I love you. But I yep. get that all the time. Don't, don't ever not say, I love yep. you. Anyway, and, yeah, and compliment people. There's, there's no, no charge to compliment people. Amen to that, girl. None. Like, I mean, why can't you say, I love your shoes? Exactly. You know, that's a very nice bag. The, you know, your hair looks gorgeous today. I love exactly. those earrings. Exactly. Why can't why you can't? say that? <laughs> like, because it's it, our ego. It's our ego. And that's part of personal development, too. That ego has to come down. A whole Absolutely, lot. yeah. Don't because put yourself first. It's 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 not about you. Yeah. It, it's like people need to realize that. Yeah, you care about yourself. You love yourself. You right. you respect yourself, but you you're not put here mm -hmm. to live on an island by yourself <laughs> to just be you. The right. reason that we have the ability to have arms to ug. Right. Use use them like if there's exactly. nobody around to hug. What are you doing with them? <laughs> I wave <laughs> mine around all the time. <laughs> I'm like this too. Yeah, and we and we don't realize that stuff. We don't we don't take that in into account that that's part of personal development. And I'm gonna we're gonna close with this. Personal develop also is not saying because we just talked about it. Saying. And that's complimenting, you know, inspiring, motivating, talking to, admonishing and empowering other people. And then there's a negative part of that, that personal development really needs to happen is you not speaking to someone or giving someone a compliment, or as we talk about hugging, we're not doing any of that is because there's something going on with your personal development. Because a baby, no matter if they've never been hugged, will hug yeah automatically even if they're being hurt by the person that's that's that they're hugging they're going to hug them so with us we, we get away from that because you know it's this is the way i am personal development's a lot of work it's ongoing it's life changing and as you as you said it's as life changes because it does it does you you have to be able to change and go with it yeah adapt adapt and with that being said this is edna j white and linda from our signing off thank you guys so much see you next time bye